Hello and welcome to my third video in this series. In this video we will see, 1. Why restoring the OS required with Acronis, Rescue Media, 2. How to restore the image, if system image corrupt or OS not booting properly. Here I am using a backup image in which 100 MB reserved partition and C drive as a NTFS partition. Let's check the system and its operating system using system properties. Right click on computer and select properties. You can see the system properties, the windows edition, RAM, computer name, and lots more. Just need to understand the system configuration on which we are working. Let's close the window. Let's open the computer management, right clicking on computer select manage. This is the management console and now click on disk management. Now this is the system reserved 100 MB partition, this partition creates by default when you install Windows 7 on a new hard disk. Let's maximize this management console, to view this properly. This is C drive boot primary NTFS partition, where Windows folder exists. This is system reserved active partition, with no drive letter, where boot partition information stores. Let's close the console. Now checking the backup file where I stored. I stored the backup on E drive. In my previous video I named my folder Win7BKP. Let's open the folder to see the backup image. The image extension is TIB. Before taking the backup I disabled the page file and hibernation file from the disk, hence such small size of backup file I got. Let's back. Here in my DVD-ROM drive Akronis Media already inserted. Now let's restart the system. And boot it from Akronis Rescue Media. I have already selected the option, boot from CD-ROM, and here is the screen of Akronis Rescue Media. Click on Akronis Backup 32-bit. In next video we will learn how to make a Kronis bootable pen drive. Now click on manage machine locally. We have seen how to backup, now this is the time to learn how to restore. Now, click on restore. Here in next screen you can see what to recover option. To select the, the image we have to click on required. Here you need to browse the path of the image. On this screen you need to click on local folder to select the exact path of your image, which you want to back up. We have already saw that our image in one of showing drives. You can check the drive by using its name. As we know in my case my hard disk has only two partition and on C drive my backup not stored so we will check E drive here. You can see that, Win7BKP folder is here in which our backup stored, just select the drive and hit OK. On this screen see the data path, and archive. Inside this archive you will see the backup, and just below the backup content. Here you can see all archive just click to view. This the disk archive actually in which partitions are defined. Under disk archives volumes are defined, here there are two volumes on disk 1. This disk 1 partition actually a basic disk not dynamic, these partition are as follows, systems reserved 100 MB partition, and NTFSC drive partition. Only selecting C drive will not boot the OS you have to select an active partition also. Sometimes C drive itself an active partition, so you will not see any system reserved partition. Now click OK. Now what to recover has defined, and you can see I have already selected, system reserved, and C drive partition here. Here you can cross check what you are recovering actually. OK, now this is the time to define where to recover, your operating system on new disk or your corrupted disk. 
Use always physical machine in recover to option, because we are not recovering on virtual system. If partition are matched with the disk, the physical disk will select automatically, if you do not required please select clear all and start select the disk manually. Here is the option, recover disk 1 MBR2, please select the disk first. A new window shows how many disks are attached, here is one disk showing, hence I selected. Though disk 1 selected, this is the time to select the disk volume now, the system showing system reserved partition as a default. Here is the option, recover system reserved 2, now click on required. Here you have to select the partition which is active and system reserved. On the hard disk it is already defined, so there is no issue to select here this partition. Select system reserved and hit OK. Active partition defined now. Now we have to select the remaining partition which is a NTFS partition. Click on required. On this screen only NTFS partition left, for this configuration. Select the remaining partition NTFS and hit OK. This is the screen, all settings are now configured please get the setting cross checked properly. These yellow marked exclamations are just an information as mentioned. So there is no need to worry actually, just hit OK and, let's start the recovery process, all should be default here and there is no need to change any setting please leave it as default. Just hit OK. After hitting OK, recovery process has started now. You can see the progress, on progress tab. This process will take some time. I am pausing video to save time and sharing the final result here. The disk restoration has now completed, you can check by clicking on task tab you can see, the last result showing succeeded. This is the final output now image has restored, you can restart the system now and check the OS. It will be as usual and hence our recovery completed successfully. Once again thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked my video. Please share your views and suggestions to improve. Thanks please like and subscribe the channel.